Hey guys, I'm just going to keep it going with the World Championship belt reviews. Uh, and I'm going to get right into it right away. It is for the WWF WWE Universal Championship. So, this is what they upgraded the big gold belt to. So... This came about in uh, July of uh, 2016. Uh, it was introduced on Raw by uh, Stephanie McMahon and McFoley, and it was won the previous month on the 30th of August uh, at SummerSlam. Uh, Finn Bauer is the uh, inaugural uh, champion, and if you just take a look at the main plate, it is the it is a duplicate of the similar design of what the WWF WWE Championship is right now. Um, obviously, under here with a uh, name with the uh, nameplate for the belt is Universal Champion, whereas on the WWF WWE Championship it is World Heavyweight Champion. Uh, so very very in fact almost it's the dupl it's a duplicate design uh, the only difference is is obviously it's on a red strap and got a black uh, a swoosh on it uh, so like the uh, big logo uh, belt it is covered in diamonds all over uh, I think it's actually a little bit less than what it was in the big logo uh, but like the WWF WWE Championship it has the name of the belt here and then going all the way up to here is the uh, is the diamonds and the rubies and like the previous belt that I reviewed there's the bars to separate the main plate from the side plates and keeping with the three plate tradition, you have side plate here, which is detachable, so you can put your own uh, favorite wrestler on it. And same idea as the previous belt with all the uh, diamonds and rubies. The only difference is they upgraded the uh, actual official name, uh, side plate, sorry, uh, with the WWF WWE logo. And instead of a globe, where you see parts of the world it's just a massive red globe uh, that's it that's all they have there's no like you can't see anything else part of that so it's like as if to say they're the WWF WWE is the owner of the world and it is the exact same on this one here and same so on the strap itself sort of similar design to what the black strap is. Uh, you have uh, the WF WWE logo and then you have a sort of diamond scratch pattern all over the belt and then going around the plates you have the shell shaped design as well and you have the gold tip at the end here to finish it off. And then going on the back you have what year was this? This was 2016, this was released, so this, so they have this on the shop uh, within months of it coming out. Uh, so you have the, the sticker of authentic, the authenticity of the, of the championship as well, sorry. Uh, and the same sort of idea is on the other side of the belt as well. And like I said in the previous video, uh, you're very stuck for if you're wanting any uh, superstar to sign this belt. Uh, because over the snap boxes and, uh, and the rest of the strap, very difficult to get somebody to sign up. Uh, you really could only really use this bit here for them to sign, but apparently they do get signed. There's new Sharpies now where they uh, write their names on it. Uh, so yeah, Finn Bauer was the uh, original champion for this belt. He beat uh, Seth Rollins at SummerSlam for it. And 
unfortunately, 22 hours later, uh, Finn Bauer was stripped of it because he got injured in his match at SummerSlam and they had to start again. Uh, they started again with a couple weeks later. Uh, Kevin Owens ended up winning it in a fatal four way match uh, with the help of Triple H, sort of similar how Triple H helped uh, Randy Orton win the WWF WWE Championship. And uh, it's went from the likes of Kevin Owens, who was the youngest guy to hold it, and also the heaviest guy to to uh, to win it. So the youngest and the heaviest, yep, that's right, uh, to the oldest, and the oldest is actually Bill Goldberg. Uh, when Big Go when Bill Goldberg came back in twenty sixteen to settle a score with Brock Lesnar. Uh, he somehow found himself in a world championship match with Kevin Owens leading up to uh, Brock versus Goldberg 3 at WrestleMania 33 uh, and just this ended up being on the line and Bill Goldberg had won the belt. Uh, I didn't really see the point in it up until you got around to WrestleMania and you discovered that they were wanting Brock to have the belt. Uh, so Brock Lesnar has held this title the most times and he's also been the longest champion with over 500 days. Uh, so yeah, he's been the champion the longest, but the likes of when it also has been uh, Seth Rollins, uh, Roman Reigns, and most recently, uh, the Fiend Bray Wyatt has won it, and uh, Goldberg got it back uh, from Bray Wyatt, which led to uh, Braun Strowman winning it at uh, WrestleMania, and quite recently, Roman Reigns has uh, came back, and from within the space of a week of Bray Wyatt defeating Braun Strowman for it at SummerSlam, a week later, Roman Reigns has regained it. But the over the stage of the last few years, it was stable that it was going to be a solo Raw belt. This was going to be what the big gold turned into for Raw. Uh, turned in this. So you had the WWF Championship on, uh, on SmackDown and you had the Universal Championship on uh, Raw. So... You would think they were quite happy about that, but going forward, they hadn't because uh, there was always the chance of what they'd done with the previous brand extension because uh, they had just gone into a new brand extension in 2016 and they needed two champions. So they decided to have two belts again and over time, like what the previous, like what I said with the previous uh, brand extension, they swapped the belts over, uh, just to change things up. So this uh, last year, this actually found itself on uh, SmackDown uh, when Bray Wyatt uh, won it last year, and it went from Raw to SmackDown within a few weeks, uh, and the WWF Championship went back to Raw. Uh, and but over that whole time, the black strap on the WWF Championship has always been black. It's stayed that uh for a number of years now. But this changed to blue. So out there at the moment, there's I'll say three versions, but I don't like the third version. Uh, the first version is obviously this red one, representing Raw. But then when it's on SmackDown. Uh, is blue so there's a blue strap one out there uh, which in all honesty the blue strap actually looks really really cool uh, I might not be allowed to get that <laughs> uh, but if I but there's an alternative to me getting that I can get a real leather uh, blue strap which would probably work out cheaper than uh, ordering a new uh, belt altogether <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so, yeah, it's 
it's not as heavy as the uh, big logo WWF Championship. Uh, it's a little bit more lighter uh, to carry. So uh, it's it's I didn't like it's weird I didn't like it at first but then as you as soon as the strap disappeared from the television it started to grow on me even though it was on SmackDown and it was blue and it's the same belt. Uh, when the red strap went away, it started to grow on me. It's it's weird how that happens. I've mentioned it previously about uh, about the spinner belt, you know. So when that went off TV, that started to grow on me. Uh, so yeah, it's it's nice. It's it's a it's a nice belt. It's not it's it's not my favorite favorite belt. Uh, but it's still cool to say that the a couple of my favorite superstars have won it for the likes. One of my favorite some of my favorite superstars are uh, Kevin Owens and Roman Reigns. Uh, I really don't care much for Brock Lesnar, uh, but that's entirely my opinion. If we all like like I've said before, if, if we all like the same uh, superstars, then life would just be boring, right? Uh, so there's not enough a lot more I can go into about this belt because it's not been around for very long. I've got more history for the WWF WWE Championship than I have this belt because the WWF Championship has been around longer than what this one has. So, uh, so if you guys like it, put comments in uh, down below. Tell me if you like the red version blue version and before I go the third version that just came into my head uh, the third version is when Bray Wyatt had it and now he's going through the th with him being going through the theme the fiend persona uh, he actually got a strap mask belt custom made for him so he got his own Universal Championship made with a Fiend mask on it and in my honest opinion I hate that excuse me I hate it for a belt it's it's not a belt to me it's uh, it's kind of like they just took a strap and put the Fiend mask on it and that said champion no it didn't I am a traditional championship design guy so I mean, I do like, I mean, I do like these now as I'm getting older, but, uh, yeah, I don't like that. Uh, and going forward, actually, uh, with NXT uh, coming further, further, further up in the, in the food chain in the WFWE, there's nothing to say that the Universal Championship can't be on NXT nothing at all uh they might throw that curveball out there one day where they put this on nxt and the nxt championship is on smackdown or raw as the main belt for a change you never know as the old saying goes anything can happen in the wwf wwe so who knows this red slash blue slash fiend belt might turn into a yellow slash black theme belt you know it's you never know with the WWF WWE that's why they always say anything can happen in the WWF WWE uh, so like I say going back to you what do you guys like do you like this belt do you not do you are you guys a traditionalist like myself comment down the stairs let me know hit subscribe and I'll catch you guys later okay